Okay, so let's say that you have a uh, Excala draw mockup right in front of you as we do here. And we want to go ahead and create an actual website from this data set uh, that we currently have. So we can do that by heading to codesandbox.io. Uh, that way you don't have to worry about setting up an editor and getting things integrated that way. And it's really simple. You can either sign in that use GitHub to do so, or you can get started right away, which is what we're going to do. Now from here, we're not going to be working with any frameworks. This is just going to be in JavaScript. So I'm going to go ahead and click on this vanilla JavaScript uh, template that they have. And as you can see, we have a browser based editor that we can work with, which is looking really great. Two files that we're going to be jumping into are this index.js and this index.html. And you'll notice that I'm going to be using command P and then pressing P again to toggle between those two individual files, which is pretty neat. Now I'm going to go ahead and say that we don't need this information over in our index.js file that was just pre-populating our web page and heading over to our index.html. I can go ahead and put in a couple elements that we need based off of the mockup. First one is going to be a form element. Great. And then inside of that, I'm going to go ahead and have a label just like that, where uh, once we close that off, we can see that the label we had for our mockup was just grocery list. And then we also had an input. Uh, the default is going to be text and that's working just fine. And then outside of this label, we can go in and say we need a button. Perfect. And this simply just had search as far as the button goes. Now underneath here, we had an unordered list. But I don't really like how that is just sort of living out in its own. So I'm going to wrap this in a section tag just to denote that this is truly a different part of our application. And tidy that up. And now you see we're in a good spot to add list elements. So I will go ahead and say that this is going to be lettuce. And we can add in a couple others here. I'm using option shift down to inject further items. In which case we have lettuce. Uh, I believe we also had tortillas and then we'll have tomatoes right here at the bottom. Now, as far as the placeholder content, I can get that set up. We can say we want to give someone an indication of what they should type here. So regarding the placeholder field, I'll go ahead and say something like cilantro. Great. Now we're getting closer to what we have in our mockup. I want to go ahead and add one more item, which is going to be a button inside of this li element. And that's simply going to be represented by an X, just like this. I can go ahead and take this and copy it and inject it inside of the other list item elements. That way we're looking more true to what we have in our mockup. And before I finish things off, I'm going to say inside of this form element, I'm going to give it a unique identifier. I'll do this for a couple of the other items as well where we have our form, which is going to be a search form. And then as far as our section goes, we'll say that this ID is going to be our grocery section, grocery list section. And then that'll allow us to dig into the underlying elements uh, if we chose to. Well, it looks like we're in pretty good shape based of our mockup. We have our label input and button as well as our list items and our removal buttons off to the right hand side. In review, we have our form label and input items. And then we have our section unordered list and list item elements listed here. And this is how you can quickly bring a mockup over to code using code sandbox.io. Thank you so much. I'll see you next time.